Hello YouTube, I'm Biggs and welcome to Biggs' Home Cooking. Today we're going to be cooking up a uh, 9 pound beef rib roast, a choice Angus cut. And uh, we're going to be doing that out on the Weber kettle along with the Cajun Bandit rotisserie. Now I've had a, another accessory that I'm going to use on this cook that I've been procrastinating opening. It's right here. And uh, this is a perfect cook for it. So uh, stay tuned and stick around. All right. And uh, let's begin. Okay, so here I got my roast. Uh, I got the coals going outside. And I'm just going to prep this up real quick, put it on the spit, and season it up. All right, it's trimmed up nice. I'm not going to touch it. So uh, let's get this spit on. Okay, here we go. Just turn that a little bit to avoid the bone there. And I'll get this side on. And we're good to boot. All right, I'll tighten these thumb screws here. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, oil so the rub can stick to it. All right, we'll give that a flip. This is gonna be a beautiful roast, let me tell you. All right, so I got that all oiled up and ready to rock. Now here I got a homemade rub that I made up and uh, I'll put the, the uh, ingredients down in the description. All right, so let me get this seasoned up. I'm gonna season it heavily. Because beef loves to be seasoned. Okay, so there you have it. My coals are almost done being heated up. And uh, I'll bring you out there when they're ready. All right. Okay, so my coals are ready. Just going to dump them. I'm going to spread them out half and half here. Rearrange them just a little bit. Set my pan in here. Drip pan. I'm going to make an au jus. And I'm going to add just a little water to that so we don't start burning. That's a cup right now. If we need more, I'll add more. All right. So in the meantime, I'm just going to put the lid on here and try to uh, regulate temperature a little bit. I'll go with halfway open on the top. And I'll go halfway open on the bottom vent. All right. We'll meet you back out here. Okay, so I got my uh, coals uh, dumped into the kettle and just letting the smoke die down a bit. And the meat's all seasoned up, and I'm just going to probe it with my new temp called the meter. All right, so let me put this in. Okay, so there you have it. Now let's get this out onto the pit and we'll start cooking. Okay, so I'm out here at the grill. Uh, I want to cook this thing at about 275, 300. Right now we're sitting at about 280. All right, so let me get this on. Get that in the motor over there and then have this. Uh, Washer sit down right on top of that channel there. All right, there you have it. Let me give it a spin and see what I got to do with the counterbalance. Okay, so I'm just going to make an adjustment. I'm going to slide this out a little further all the way at the end. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we're going to go with that. Let me get the lid on here and we'll uh we'll meet you back out here. All right, guys. Okay, I'm back out here. My roast is done. So let's uh take a look at it here. 
Okay. So, uh, internal temp was, uh, it got away from me a little bit. It got up to 129. So, uh, I'm pulling this off right now and uh, bringing it inside and going to let it rest. And then, and then we'll slice in and see what it's all about. I'm sure it's going to be good. Okay, so here's the roast. It's inside resting. Let's get ready to cut into this bad boy and see what it's all about. Alrighty? Alright, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so here we are at the dinner table. I got the uh, end cut piece of uh, rib roast and I got some mashed potatoes and some string beans. So uh, let's give this a little test here and uh, cut into it. Got my nice little Gerber steak knife here, nice to shop. Okay, here we go. Put a little au jus on the plate there. That is heavenly. Oh, that is so good. Okay, so I'm going to cut one more piece here and uh, give it a little taste test. Here we go. Big man going in. Mm. That is so delicious. And the au jus just sets it off a little bit on top. Oh. So, you know what it's all about. So, next time you come across a good price on a prime rib, pick one up. And uh, roast one up. Great flavor. All right, everyone. I just want to thank you for uh, stopping by my channel and uh, viewing this video. So I'll have more coming out. And uh, so stay tuned. All right. We'll see you on the next cook. Take care. Mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm.